Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you are just in time for more A Hat in Time. I want to go ahead and say this is a really cool pose we're in. Oh, until she started moving. Kind of like how like, the camera is angled up, like covering her eyes just barely. Uh, but anyway, in the last episode, we completed Act 2. Um, took way too long to do it because we were looking for stuff. Uh, and in this episode, we'll talk to Mustache Girl. Are you ready to take down some mafia? Let's do it! I'm psyched! <laughs> this is funny. Let's go over oh, the plan. This. All assaults need a good plan, or it'll be a flop. First, we strangle them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. That'll show them. Huh. That's a, that's a little dark. No, wait, strangling is too kind. We smash them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. That's way too dark. What? Then, we sell the jar for pocket money. That'll be the ultimate salt in the wound. What the? But first, we have to uh, make it through their Mafia HQ. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, that was a little follow, dark. Then our mush and jar party will be no problem. Mush and jar, okay. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic, and we don't do basic in this gang. Mm. Yarn can be found around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. Oh so yeah, we got our uh, fifth. Six piece of yarn. You need more yarn for some hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. No, it's not. So <laughs> keep an eye out for yarn. As a creative type, yeah, that's now true. Now you're a killing machine. Let's go get them. Uh, of course, when I say creative, I mean that in, in the most basic sense. But I mean, I try to be creative, but it's hard. Um. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, we got eight pieces of yarn, so I think our next time is actually eight pieces, so. Uh, real quick, I want to do this, pop this open. And we have our little, uh, small machine that takes tokens and gives gifts in, in a turn. We don't have tokens to give, so we don't have enough tokens yet, so yeah. Um, for the time being, we're just going to continue on in the mock. So we beat the barrel battle and we're going to chapter three. She came from outer space! As a quick reminder, I feel like I have to do this every episode. Uh, gears, uh, gears for breakfast, if you are listening to this, please make the artwork here, like, available for us. I will buy all these, all the artwork for each of the, each of the acts. I mentioned this before. But yeah, so... Here we have our new, our next mission. In the rain, and we got a little raincoat on! You know, I'm just really calming music. This game has good music. Little girl see thing over there? Mafia wonder if there is way to get. But Mafia no time to search for entrance if Mafia need to stare. <laughs> So yeah, in order to get this, we're going to need a hat that we're not going to be able to have access to until chapter 2. Um, so yeah. Um, actually, I think it's when we're going to get our next hat actually in chapter 2. Might be. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Oh, we got a new enemy in here. We get this little, uh, Tanuki, uh, guy. Who, if we go underneath, they'll try to stomp us. We can just attack them and get rid of them that way. I love that. Oh. Seriously, get us some artwork for this game. Oh. Oh, the enemy fell into the mud. And now we're acting like a, like a zombie a little bit. Music also changed a little bit. Sounds a little more alien. And now the mafia is afraid of us. Hmm. 
and they die in water. Okay, so one thing I want to mention real quick is you want to change your hat. Uh, also, you can clean yourself up in the water. If you want to change your hat, you can push R1 or LB, I guess, and then use your control stick to select your hat. As you get more hats, the space uh, the space around it shrinks to accommodate for the space for the hat. Um, we're gonna stick with the brewing hat for now. This town is so big. The attractions are pretty cool, but I'll tell you, kid, nothing beats going to the moon. Hmm. Go. So we need to uh, finish finish up our collection here. Probably not in this episode, but probably eventually when we get everything. Um. The, rel the relics are probably going to be the hardest thing for us to get right now. There's one uh, bit of yarn I want to try and get that we can't... Ouch. There we go. That hurt a little bit. Ooh, no, we can't attack in there. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do for us. Can we do anything with this one? That's the same one. I guess that was just a way to get it to make a pawn. I'm going to take a break from talking. I've been doing this for three episodes. You know, the, music, the music here is so calm. Can we talk to this guy? This is a beautiful game. It's a fun game. I love they chose the art style they did. <laughs> and there he is, floating in the air. I'm glad I didn't say this is a fully polished game, though, even, the, even then, for a engine developed game that took four or five years to make, it is, it is very well polished. I mean, you see some errors here and there, but that's kind of what ends up happening when you use the Unreal Engine, <coughs> particularly Unreal 3, um, which is Awesome that they chose the Unreal 3 engine because that was the one I dabbled in when I uh, attempted to be a game programmer, <laughs> a game designer. What the? Huh? It's it's slimy space alien. I'm not slimy. Mavia is a spaceship. Mavia knew all along. Mavia is being invaded by aliens. I wouldn't exactly call it an invasion. <laughs> oh, kind of looks like guys on the on the uh, on the mat on the hat too. You see the bad the badges are. Um, that's something that I also forgot to mention last episode, and I pushed the wrong button. Think that it's uh, reset. Um, whenever you equip your badges, it does show up on your hat. Um. Go over here. Mm. Okay, I think I know how to go over here so quick. Got almost 400 uh, pawns. As you can tell, it's very easy to collect, collect a lot of pawns. I love how just the lightning strikes just as we happen to be. Here. The platforming in this game is spectacular. Leave Mafia alone, you monster! One thing I want to mention about the can the this, dive cancel. You uh, if you want to climb up walls, you have to cancel your dive before you hit the wall. Yes, I'll go away if you give me that. <laughs> 
Um, otherwise, you'll, ba you'll bash with the water as well. Kind of like how Mario works. Um, so yeah, we spent what? Seven. It's been about 11 minutes on this mission, and most of it was just derping around. Yeah, a lot of these missions aren't long. In fact, I think I have like seven or eight hours on this game, which isn't a whole lot, a whole lot of time, but it is. It is for, I guess, most games. I think I had long than that, actually. I have like 20 hours or something on this game. Feels so short compared to Mario Odyssey. I hate, I hate to compare this. It's like comparing the two games, like comparing apples and oranges. Really. Um, I'm not even sure it's even to be considered that. Like, Lift that up, and we're going with down with the mafia. We're going to start this mission. This is the last. Actually, you know, there's two other acts we can do, but I think we'll say this is the last act for Mafia Town. Um. So it looks like we're gonna be in another boss fight, and this. Uh, this is going to be a big wake-up call for those of you who thought this was going to be an easy game. Just a bit of a heads up. Go away! And then that in parentheses, please. Um, so we're back in our raincoat. We're going to switch back to our hat. And then we're going to go in here. Yeah. You! You took your time! Help me out here! Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside. Okay, so we got three mafia to kill. And fortunately these guys go very easy. Good job. It kid. seems to me like the like the mafia that pop thing that you are good at one hit where the other mob where the standard mafia take a little while. Before we enter oh, I'm up. Remember. Something being up here. No? No, okay. Um, grab a pawn and head on inside. I love that. Go away. And then, for instance, please. And for those of you wondering what kind of mafia this is, it's Mafia of Cooks. That's why they look like Italian gangsters but have Russian accents. Hmm. I don't know why that's floating above his head. I love how theater is the A is falling off. Okay. Oh, and there's Mafia, there's you guys talking Please, about that. Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. Oh, that's not good. So, let's put gun by this, to equip one more badge. We got a badge pin. And then, we'll go ahead and buy the hover badge. I love how she's so shiny. Oh my god, that's adorable! And then, that's all we'll get right now, and we can go ahead. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll go ahead and equip that. So we have one more badge uh, that we can buy, or one more badge pin that we can buy. And real quick, while we're up I'm gonna avoid these rats. The Mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cad is here. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. Mm. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Really? That's interesting to know. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get this. We're gonna need that for a little bit later, but for the time being, I wanna stop by and do something real quick here. Drop this off. What's troubling you, little girl? Mafia not know what child dreams. 
Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. She look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. So <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that there's a little bit of dialogue there and it gives you a hint where it goes, man. Um so anyway, we need to take this uh crab, this fucker crab here, drop it here, and then can pick up the seeds. Drop those seeds. Yep, we can just step right in here into the mafia bathroom. And right here. Got another relic token! Yay! Walk through. Uh, you, you walk through the doors automatically, you don't have to push any buttons for them. Um, you, if, you, if there's anything you need to push a button for, it usually tells you. Let me take a little currency if I stop by the bureau to change. So, yeah. Unfortunately, my. There we go. Control disconnected there. Actually, it wasn't too bad. This is what, episode 3? Anyway, so let's go ahead and take this key into here. And. Unlock the door. Talk to Mustache Girl real quick. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Okay. Do. I think we have everything we can we need to get in here. Uh, can't go through any glass. Okay. Mm. Actually, no, I think there's one more thing we can get in uh, so we'll come back for it later. Got a but uh Ooh. New York. And then you're nothing else. Yeah, we can't hurt these guys. Most of the Mafia we can't hurt. And there is the leader, with the timepiece that we so definitely needed. Uh, of course. There we go. And now we can fight the Mafia boss. It is you! Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. Hmm. You must be very lost, kid. <coughs> You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, We'll have to settle it in true Mafia style! Fight! Action! It is showtime! So here we have our first real boss fight. So yeah, just hit him when he's blue. We can do a homing attack. We got a dodge the attack here. And... Whoa! Got to jump over here. And Matt. Ah! There it goes, Mac again. Super charge. So it doesn't seem like it's too hard right now, but strike. Nope. Oh, okay. I want to out. Backwards, backwards, there, okay, hit him. I've got your friend captured, and soon you will both perish. Yeah. Not too hard of a boss fight until about, I believe, right here? Yeah. Starting the Mafia Ball. So 
yeah, he's starting other things. And the attack is significantly faster. Ah! Ow! So yeah, that was actually pretty challenging right there. What in the world? I was trying to double jump so I could get the holy strike on him, but it wouldn't let me. Fortunately, it goes out. There we go. Oh, you got to time that just right. Not quite as hard as second out. Strike. Yeah, I still managed to hit, and we finish him off. Blow him up into pieces. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a little. And they're cheering us on. I guess they just thought this is halftime entertainment or whatever. <laughs> and they're So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Um. Uh -oh. Are they some sort of rare? Co Wait. Huh? Um. That is, seems very dangerous. Whoa! What? What? Did um. This is crazy! Do you even realize what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time! <laughs> we could beat up the Mafia, travel back in time, and then beat them up again! No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! Wait, wait, wait! Even better! We could be crime-fighting time travelers! Crime-fighting time travelers, huh? Yeah, it'll never work. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not gonna use it to fight evil? Mm -hmm. Let's get home. If you're not gonna use them to fight evil, Besides, good and evil are absolutely relative, are relatively uh, relative concept. I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town. I mean, granted, the Mafia is a problem, but they seem mostly you inept at their job. I'm not entirely sure how she got on the island with the full rest of the Mafia and those black little birds. And it seems like. Let's just go and pickpocket at half your pond. We're enemies! No! <laughs> Even in a semi serious moment like that, they still managed to make it hilarious. It's like, wait a minute, she just, she just took half my pawns. And then the little friendship meter from before. No! She didn't act as. Don't think she actually steals half your pawn. We had what, 500? 308. No, no, that's not what we had before. We bought, yeah, we bought the, the thing. So, um, let me go ahead and do. Do we have more we can do in here before we have to leave? Pop it down. Which one do you want to do? Ooh. Okay, so. This is a really weird thing here. So, you'll notice. This is the only, this is the only time the game this is done. So, we have Act 1, 2, 3. One down, down, 
four, six, and seven. We don't get access to Act 5 until we're close to beating Chapter 2. It's a little weird. So I'm really... And honestly, they could just change things around a bit, too. Um, so in this case, in the next episode, we're going to be doing the Time Rift here. Introducing what the Time Rift on. Until then, I will see you guys... Later.